In 2030, the world will look dramatically different due to significant changes in society, changes in technological advancements, and changes in the way we live. Now, the future of real estate, future of homes, and where we live and how we live will look completely different. For example, by 2030, major tech companies have already launched official projects to develop homes that can be delivered, unfolded, and built in an hour. Billions of dollars have been invested into artificial intelligence that will completely change the way we manage our homes. This exponentially growing technology will do much more than current smart home technology. If you're thinking about the current day Alexa and uh, Google, these will look like the Edison light bulb compared to this new technology. Now remember when 2030 seems so far away in the distant future. Now it's not that far away. These large projects have full-time staff dedicated to completing this effort. And many of these projects were started years ago and are expected to take anywhere from three to five years more to complete. Now you're gonna see many changes in future homes and real estate besides just top future technologies. So in this video, I'm going to be going deep into the 12 things that you must know and that you need to know about the future of real estate and what to expect by 2030. If you watch this all the way to the end, you're gonna learn about one, the changing demographics and how they'll impact the housing market. Two, the future of the real estate market and how it will change by 2030. Three, new home construction and design in 2030. Four, the impact of technological advances on homes in the future. Number five, changes in family life and how that will impact the home purchasing decisions. Number six, global warming and how it's going to affect property values. Number seven, the future of real estate market and how it will change. Number eight, how technology will change the way we buy, sell, and live in homes. Nine, the changing share of cooperative housing and its potential implications. 10, changes in mortgage and lending industry. 11, the rise of smart homes and the impact on the real estate industry. And 12, what trends to look out for in home design and decor. Now this is not George Jetson stuff, guys. Scientists and engineers are right now figuring out how to solve these problems. And we thought previously that these were impossible. This development is projected to lead to technology that is indistinguishable from Fantasia. Nowadays, advancements in graphics technology has brought us to 3D active, renderings to make it easier for investors, buyers, and other stakeholders to truly understand the designs that they're looking at. We also see technology that can help buyers with sales configurations, interactive tours, and visitors who can choose finishes and their own design right before their own eyes in virtual experiences. Now, architects can get feedback from investors at key design stages in the process as well. These shadow studies are potential occupants that would live in these homes, can see the space, and how it's affected by sunlight in various times of the day. How cool would that be to get that before you even move into your house? Digital twins are cities that can get a true idea of a building's usage and its lead the way to design and optimize efficiencies for better space for its residents. Now, advanced robots will take care of a variety of situations in the real world. We're already seeing some of this technology in the automobile industry, like automatic parking, voice recognition, automatic emergency braking. This was the stuff of fantasy just a few years ago. But in future homes and our future towns and our future neighborhoods where we're going to live, there is no feasible limit as to how intelligent these robots and this AI can be. 6G, 7G internet, along with much more powerful and intelligent computers is in our future. Now there's many future factors influencing our world of the future, such as the average age of population and where people will live in 2030. The world population is expected to increase an additional 500 million people. Now since the beginning of time, humans need three basic requirements. We all know this, food and water, shelter and clothing. Where will this additional population live? Now, considering that we have major shortfall of homes, condos and apartments, and all sorts of shelter right now. In the United States, the US Census Bureau recorded 1.6 million new housing starts in 2021. And that's a total that pushed the shortfall of homes that are needed to 3.5 million units last year. Based on current population numbers, we are down 3.5 million units in the United States more demand than supply that's currently available. This is why rents continue to increase, more population than currently available homes. And that demand will continue into 2030 and beyond. 
But one way of catching up is by building more affordable homes. Now think ahead into the not too distant future. The US Census Bureau tells us that in 2030, older people are projected to outnumber children for the first time in history. By 2030, all baby boomers will be older than 65 years old. This will expand the size of the older population so that one in every five residents will be of retirement age. Now think about how this will change the needs for housing and what the population will need. The fact that America still faces a shortage of available homes. We need 300 million new homes by 2030, or roughly 21 million new homes per year. According to the UN population data, this is what the requirement is. Building new, decent home with durable materials and necessary to connect to utilities, service costs, this all translates to $525 billion a year. Now, the world's richest people are known to live a most extravagant lifestyle, and Elon Musk reportedly lives in a $50,000 prefab tiny home. A company called Boxable delivered one of their Casita prefab homes to SpaceX. The Casita, as its name suggests, is a 20 by 20 or a six by six meter home made of concrete panels, steel, and EPS foam that can be shipped or towed by a truck directly to the buyer. Setting it up takes between one hour and one day, depending on the setup that the owner wants. The Casita can be made for off-grid living or hooked up to utilities. So depending on this, the setup can imply a variety of additional costs. Still, the Casita starts at $50,000 and the company says it's made to last a lifetime. The walls, the floor, and roof are structurally laminated panels that are rated higher for insulation and durability and everything else that a traditional home building market has. This home is hurricane and storm resistant, fire resistant, flood resistant, and rated 90% higher for snow. It's cheap to maintain and can be made of even cheaper materials if, or panels, if you add solar panel, your costs will go down and backup batteries and other smart tech. So if you're thinking about why in one of these tiny prefab homes, you better get in line because there's a long wait. This company already has a 100,000 unit wait list. But clearly, the Boxable Casita unit isn't amazing enough to have caught the eye of Elon Musk, but to dream of a future that goes well beyond just building homes. The rise of shared housing and cooperative housing has been potential implications for the real estate industry for years. Now, in recent years, we've seen this as a growing trend of people sharing living spaces and cooperative housing arrangements. This type of housing is often more affordable and can provide a sense of community that is often lacking in traditional rented accommodations. The real estate industry should notice this trend because it means big changes in the ways properties are developed and sold. Cooperative housing is not a new concept. In fact, this type of arrangement has been around for centuries. And in recent years, it's gained popularity in developed countries like the United States and United Kingdom. The primary reason for this increase in popularity is mainly economic. With inflation, shared accommodation is often more affordable than renting or buying a property outright. And for young people who are saddled with student debt, struggling to buy a property of their own, shared accommodation can be a true lifesaver. And for older retirees, the benefit of a retirement village model, the traditional way, may no longer be affordable. This may be the only option for those looking to downsize in retirement. Now in 2030, Look for these types of arrangements to become more popular and keep an eye on this trend. What will be the housing market in 2030? Prices will be much higher for sure. And the housing market always goes up and down, but the cost of living and homes will always be higher. Just take a look back through history at what a house cost 30 years ago. Now compare that to what it costs today. Now go fast forward into the future. Although these gains may seem astronomical, they're more or less expected to keep pace with future inflation. So the cost of a single family home in the US is likely to cost more in the future. But where will people live? Well, many people are moving to another state or a town. You know, just consider states like California, Arizona, Nevada, and higher desert temperatures and water evaporation. Southern Nevada's water allocation was recently cut by 7 billion gallons. That's enough water to serve 45,000 homes. That's a resource that Nevada will most likely run out of is power. And if water drops too low, dams making and producing that electricity will stop. 
With the turbines at Hoover Dam no longer spinning, it is expected that further power cuts in 2030. Places like Las Vegas will lose access to 90% of their water supply as well. Rising sea levels will flood hundreds of cities in the near future. Places like Cambridge, Massachusetts, Oakland, California, Miami and St. Petersburg, Florida, parts of North Carolina, and even the four of the five boroughs of New York City. But the allure of the beach and ocean will not go away. People will just migrate to other or better coastal towns as we have seen in the future. It's already happening. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is an example of one of those towns. It's a coastal town on the east coast of the United States that has a higher elevation 26 feet above sea level. And not so amazingly, this town was ranked by US News and World Report as the number one fastest growing metro area with net migration. The future is happening now. But where are the best places to live in 2030? As reported earlier, much of the population is aging and will migrate to smaller cities and regions that are popular with retirees. Now there are six indexes that drive migration where people will move. Housing affordability, happiness, desirability, retiree taxes, job market, and healthcare quality. Let's talk about these. The best places to live in 2030 will be areas that have a high score on these six indexes. Let's talk about the happiness index. It represents how happy residents are with an important aspect to their daily lives. This is based on crime rates, air quality index, and well-being. Being. The housing affordability index assesses all comparative houses cost in any metro area, and it compares the annual housing costs for homeowners with a mortgage and the median gross rent, including utilities and insurance. The healthcare quality index measures the availability of and top quality healthcare in each area. Now the retiree taxes index measures the expected tax friendliness of each metro area for retirees. And it's based on the sales tax index and also the income tax index. The desirability index represents how interested Americans are in living in any given metro area. And the job market index measures the strength of each metro area's job market into the future. Home affordability in 2030. Is it possible to get a longer term mortgage and make housing more affordable? Could that solve it? Let's go back to the 1920s when houses were small and simple and mortgages had a five year term. In the 1950s, bigger houses with more options made homes more expensive. So 15 and 30 year mortgages extended payment terms. Today, there are no longer simple. Many buyers want more space, more options and more upgrades, which makes houses more expensive. So a 40 year loan may have an upside on cheaper monthly mortgage payments for a homeowner, but the downside is with a longer term, it is higher interest paid to the bank and a much slower buildup of homeowner equity. How about a utopian society in 2030? Will we see a huge jump in technology? Will science fiction become science fact? All that is happening right now before our eyes. What will housing look like? Will we go back to the simple living or will we desire super slick modern living with lots of amenities? Now people always need housing and a place to live, but what real estate investments will they look like into the future? Will energy efficient homes become so efficient that they generate their own power and their own water? Will people move away from obsolete buildings into new energy efficient places? The future is happening right now. For example, my real estate team had a person who moved from a small condo in a big city to coastal Carolina. She was paying $370 a month for the bill. And when she bought her brand new energy efficient home in the height of August, the summer air conditioning on high, she had a total bill of $95. So the future is happening right now. But what will retirement look like? Efficient design, simple maintenance, better taxes, better weather, healthy lifestyles, or an active lifestyle. Where will you be in 2030? The choice is yours. You still have time to make your plan and put it together and to take action to take control of your life. Now there's over a thousand super helpful videos here on this channel. So if you've subscribed, I'll see you into the future, literally in another video. And I hope you've enjoyed this content that I've made for you. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you into the future.